Hello YouTube, it's Chris here. Got a really exciting update for you guys. Um, this is an unboxing video and I'm going to do beam shots in this video. Uh, tonight, I just got a new flashlight in from Thrunite and this is pr whoa, probably one of the most exciting things for me. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Alright, now that we have this opened up, let's take a look at some of the contents that are inside. I'm sure you guys will know by all of the reviews on this so far of this brand new flashlight. This is the Thrunite Catapult V5. I am really excited to get this. I have wanted a really high powered flashlight from Thrunite and I asked them to send me some or send me one to test and I never heard back from them but I went ahead and uh, used my own money so this bad boy is mine. Yeah! So let's uh, check out the contents. Alright, first we have the user manual which is actually really, really, really helpful. Trunite always does a really good job of telling you about extender tubes and how to put the batteries in and how to turn it on and off, how to do the change modes and everything. And they go through and give you a really good complete list of um, the different uh, filters and LED statuses and the, what the um, different indicator lights are when batteries are at uh, different levels and everything. Uh, through night is for a newer company does a really good job with that secondly here are some spare um, o-rings for waterproofing and stuff if the ones that you already they already come with it wear out next we have the sheath that everybody likes and I like this one too I think um, has a good um, belt strap on it and has a very tactical utilitarian uh, design and like a lot of people say, I wish there was a uh, a button on this, but Velcro still works. Next, this comes with the uh, nice lanyard, which is a lot thicker and more hefty than some of the other ones, but I think that's because the flashlight is so heavy. Oh, wow. This is really, really, really hefty. This is the diffuser that comes with the uh, light. I haven't opened this yet at all, but it looks like in the future they're going to have red, green, blue yellow and just a straight beam cover. If you go on Amazon you can actually get the uh, blue and yellow filter and my goal because I want to RGB for this bad boy is I probably will get the blue and then see if I can look into getting the red and the green filter. But tonight when I do beam shots I will definitely include this onto the flashlight. Next is this bad boy. Wow this thing is heavy. I like it. This thing is nice and hefty. Looks really, really good. I mean, this is a really sturdy. I mean, this feels like a baseball bat than a flashlight. I mean, this thing is like a, a club. This is awesome. All right. Well, let's go ahead and cut to the night shots and let's see how awesome this bad boy really is. Hey guys, before I do the night shots, um, this is just to give you guys a really cool size comparison. Um, that right there is the uh, T10S, which is my everyday carry. It's a nice, really strong, compact one, and that's the Archer 2A. This is the Nightcore SRT7. The reason I picked this one over the Lynx, um, even though they're pretty much in the same power bracket, is the SRT7 has uh, RGB cap capabilities, and that is something I was really looking for in a uh, fairly decently high-powered flashlight and a tactical use one if I needed it. And then here's the catapult, over twice the size of the SRT7 Archer 2A. And it's almost twice as powerful as the SRT7 put together. Now you guys have that little taste and kind of a size comparison to show you how beefy and big this flashlight really is. Let's take this outside. Alright guys, we're out here with the Thrunite Catapult V5. This is the newest edition. Um, of the catapult series from through night I have the diffuser on right now because we're going to about do some uh, beam shots and what we're going to be doing with this is I'm going to show you with the diffuser on all the settings and then the high and then in about a week or so I'm going to be actually doing a full review and torture testing yes even though I bought this myself I am going to drop it I know I'm crazy but like I said even if I spend a certain amount of money if I don't like it I don't want it so Let's go ahead and do some beam shots. Alright guys, here is the um, on low with the diffuser on. 
I'm going to turn it up and now it's medium. So this is uh, the minimum light that my light needs to follow this. And I'm about to turn it on to high. This is on 750 lumens with the diffuser on. We're about, this is about 15 to 20 yards out. And this is on turbo. This is with the diffuser. It's all flood. The reason why I'm not going farther than about 15 or 20 yards is because I have a lake. But when I turn the diffuser off and do some distance beam shots, I can show you guys some tree lines about 200 yards out and I can show you how far this thing really throws. So, let's go ahead and take the diffuser off and whip out some throwing. Alright guys, now I took the diffuser off and this is the estimated 80 lumens, but on some of the candle power forums, uh, one of the reviewers said that he was actually able to test this at 100. So, this is on low and what I'm about to do is throw this light out about 150, 200 yards all the way across the lake, across the street and let you guys check out some uh, tree lines and show you how powerful the throw of this really is. So we're about to follow this up. And you can barely really see anything. I'm going to turn it on medium. High. And then turbo. And I know it's hard for you guys to see, but we're going to come back here to my side of the pond. This is about 20 yards away on turbo. This is on low. This is medium high and turbo again and we're going to follow this light now these trees that you're looking at here are about 55 yards away so this thing lights up really really well now like everyone has said in their videos the light that you can see in the camera on tv on your laptop on your smartphone is about three to four times darker than what i can see in person See, when I'm looking through the camera, I see a small little light green dot of grass, but you guys don't see the huge widespread halo that this thing is shooting out. And this is on the lowest setting right now. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it up for you guys on high. This thing is a thrower. This thing is amazing. i got to say, out of all the lights I've ever tested, this thing is spectacular. So, I don't want to do any more beam shots for now, because I want to save the rest of this stuff for the review. And when I torture tested it, dunk it in the water, splashed it, dig it in dirt, I'm going to destroy this thing. So stay tuned for that. You guys have a good night. I'm out.